Yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So I got an email from a subscriber and the subscriber sent a donation. So thanks for your donation. And remember, guys, if you want to guarantee that your question will be answered, make sure you click the link below and send a donation. All right. So this one says um, I donated 10 bucks. Just wanted to start off by saying I appreciate the game you drop. Keep doing your thing. I think I'm pretty advanced in the game, but I'm still willing to learn because no one is above advice and improve. Proving. I met this chick on OkCupid. We went out and had drinks. I could tell she was interested in the convo, but her body language said different. I'm making eye contact and so is she. I'm touching her leg here and there, but I can't crack her. I like for bitches to be all over me. And she wasn't. She paid for her drinks and I paid for mine. I said, let's go to another bar and we drove together in my car at the bar. Um, I decided to turn up the flirting to get shit cracking. After about 30 minutes at the new spot, she says, I love the convo we have and you're very interesting, but I just didn't get the romantic spark and the chemistry isn't there for me. She asked me what I thought about it and I brushed it off on some player shit and said, that's cool. No worries. I have other broads on the team, so it's no big deal. I made it explicitly clear I don't do the friend thing. I immediately ended the date there. I dropped her off at her car and she says, I'm interested in you. I had fun tonight. I want to see you again. And if you're interested, I'll put the ball in your court. No kiss, no hug. So to me, that means you're charged to the game. That's my rule. I have no intentions uh, on seeing her again. I like my broads to choose up hard. But let's say she hits me up. How should I proceed? Should I keep fucking with her lightweight until she chooses hard or delete her shit and keep it moving? I probably answered my own question in this email. Uh, thanks again. Sorry for the long message. Um, and keep lacing us with the game. All right. So basically, this is this is uh, this is interesting because what I what I like that happened here is that when she said to you. You know, like, oh, you know, it's I'm not seeing that spark and, you know, yada, yada, yada. And you're like, look, that's cool. I got other chicks on the team or whatever. Right. And then what happens is, is that she sort of flipped around and then she's talking about now, oh, I'm interested in you and you, you know, let's get together and all that other garbage. Now, what I would do, I would basically charge it to the game because she seems like she is basically on some attention horse shit because she ain't giving you no kiss, no hug. She's talking about, you know, I'm not really interested like that. But then then all of a sudden she want to flip it when she sees that you're confident and you're like, look, I got other chicks and it's all good. Right. So now, you know, I would basically say, you know, you should charge it like you shouldn't call her back or nothing. Right. But you're asking what if she calls you. Right. So now. In this situation, right, when when it seems like a chick is on some either wishy-washy type of stuff or she seems like she might be playing games or she might be on some attention whore shit, right, you, you know, you wait for her to call. So if she calls you, basically what you can do is you need to set it up to where she needs to basically choose hard in this situation meaning you say to her all right cool you know um what's up listen what you should do is come to my crib and then we're gonna get it popping right so if she hits you back just tell her to come to your house you understand because if she's really about getting it getting it going on she'll come through and she'll make it happen you understand because let's say if you know she got home and then she's thinking about it and then she started thinking about you and she's like you know what let me call this guy back i'm, I'm starting to like this guy you understand then you tell her hey come to my crib to come to my house and the thing is, is that if she's actually feeling you, she's going to come. If she was actually being on some, you know, wishy-washy, I'm playing around, I'm, you know, attention whoring shit, she's not going to actually come through. You understand? Because coming through to the house is her choosing hard. It's her really making it go down. You understand? What it seems like, you know, that happened, it seems like, you know, when you let her know, look, I got other chicks and it ain't no thing to me. You understand that made her flip her whole situation and wanted to sort of, you know, get at you. You understand what I'm saying? But but again, the thing is, is that she was on at first on some. Oh, I'm not really that interested. I'm not feeling that spark and yada, yada, yada. You understand what I'm saying? And so the thing is, again, if, if she hits you up, 
you know, tell her to come to the crib. You understand? You got to put her in a position to where she has to put up or shut up. You understand what I'm saying? Where she has to actually do something. She has to actually make something happen. No in between. No, let's get together and get a drink again. No going on dates. No, just hanging out. No, you come through to the crib. You understand? She hits you up. you like, oh, what's good? Oh, you free this weekend? Come to the house. And that's it. If she's talking all this, oh, no, I don't really. Nah, we, we good. We good. That's all. That's the only conversation that you need to have with this girl at this point. You understand what I'm saying? And, you know, basically, I would just say you just need to charge her anyway. Like you shouldn't don't call her at all. And again, if she does call you, just tell her to come through to the crib. You understand what I'm saying? And then. If she does actually come to the crib, let's say this happens. She calls you and then you say, hey, come to the crib and she uh, comes through. Right. Make sure that there's some sex happening. She's not trying to make that happen. You kick her out. You you you, she's done. You understand? You'd be like, "Uh, yeah, you got to go. You understand what I'm saying? If she's not trying to do that, you tell her to leave. It's that simple. Because the thing is. With, with with a chick like this, she, you know, she, if you give her room to play games, she's going to play games. You understand? So don't give her any room to play games, right? Just let her know what it is. And if she's down, then, you know, you make it happen. If she's not, you just keep that shit moving. Master the game and join dating and life coach, Mr. Locario, live in New York City on Saturday, March 25th in Times Square for the Bad Boy Seminar. Mr. Locario has some exclusive realistic approaches to the dating game that will help you be successful with women. Purchase your tickets at MrLocario.com. Space is extremely limited, so pick up your tickets today at MrLocario.com. That's M-R-L-O-C-A-R-I-O.com. MrLocario.com. Now, before you turn off this video, I want you to do three quick things. One, I want you to click the link below to send me a question. If you have a question on dating and relationships, I'll make a video about it. Two, I want you to click the link under that to get my free audio program, Undeniable Game, which teaches you seven easy to follow tips on how to really attract beautiful women. And three, I want you to click the link under that one to go to Bad Boy Membership, where you get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. Hey, what's up? It's dating and life coach, Mr. Locario. Go to Bad Boy Membership. Membership.com and master the dating game by joining my bad boy membership program. In this program, you'll receive 45 through 90 minute, easy to follow, step by step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract, date, and have sex with beautiful women. Join the bad boy membership today by going to badboymembership.com. That's badboymembership.com.